All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today we are going to be making a fresh, from scratch, pizza dough uh, for our good friends over at the Bailey Brewing Channel. It sounds like my engineer over there has my KitchenAid fixed. I'll be swinging by that area today to pick that up and do some uh, other business. And I will be dropping off some pizza dough for them. They requested it. I will be doing uh, two follow-up videos. One will be a different version of this based on Nick Nell's recipe on Pet Pittsburgh. And then I will also be making a video, um, probably two videos uh, after that, um, on making the pizza. One will be just the basic pizza using the pizza dough we're doing here today on some version of that, or some version of that. And then of course one based on Nick Nell, who has been perfecting uh, how not only to make the dough, but how to make the perfect pizza of all the ingredients. And just, it's not just throwing a pizza stone, it's a whole bunch of things. It's crazy. He told me the other day and it's just, never would have thought about it. So, so today we're gonna to start with the Holy Bible again. That will be my main source of inspiration. Enjoy cooking, highly recommend it. As I mentioned before, not everything is an uh, end all be all in here. Always take things with a grain of salt. I've even made some notes on the pizza dough um, that I've made before, but uh, this this recipe is pretty decent, and um, we're gonna go from there. In addition to that, you'll need tablespoon, teaspoon, fourth teaspoon, thermal pop or some type of instant read, measuring cup, bowl, clean countertop space, digital kitchen scale, back up and running, just need a new battery, thank God, olive oil, salt, sugar, yeast, plastic wrap, obviously a fridge, blah, 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 and flour, but um, we're going to use a special kind of flour. Since it's going to take about five minutes for our yeast to dissolve in the water, I'll get to the flour in a second here, because this is actually one thing that's uh, uh, worth noting here. So, let's get that water going, get that warmed up a bit. And we are going to need about one and a half to one and a third cup of water. We go one and a third cup of water. And as I mentioned in my other videos, I do recommend around the uh, 80 to 90 range. A little hot here, to cool that off. Double check that. Double check that temperature here. Eighty-nine degrees. Great. And then we'll grab our yeast and do two and one fourth teaspoon of yeast. Excuse me. Allergies are hitting me hard today. Not gonna complain too much. Spring is here, got some warm weather finally. Grab your fork, mix in that yeast a little bit. Don't have to go too crazy with it and be a little gentle at the same time. Anything that goes on the edges, you wanna make sure you scoop down. And put that aside for now and set our timer for five minutes. Okay, flour. So you can use all-purpose flour for this. It wouldn't be a problem. Uh, the recipe even calls for all-purpose flour. Most recipes you see online call for all-purpose flour. However, today we're going to be using Anna's Tipo Double Zero Italian Unbleached Flour. Um, this is very expensive, whereas a entire 
normal bag, all purple flour, could run you anywhere from a dollar to two dollars and change. This whole bag was uh, over four dollars after taxes uh, <laughs> for weight less product. But however, this is an extra fine flour, high protein content. It is fantastic. Uh, Nick Nell up, up in, over in Pittsburgh has been raving about this nonstop. I finally got to find some during quarantine, so I bought a couple bags. I made a buffalo chicken pizza yesterday uh, for my fiance, and let me tell you, damn, the crust was so much different. I mean, it got not even just like perfectly just crispy and delicious, but when it did pull apart, when you bit into it, it was also flaky and just, oh, it was just, you could tell it was just night and day. I don't even know how to begin to describe it past that, but it, you could tell. This wasn't like a small change in, in flavor or, or texture or profile. It was a ginormous change. Uh, I may never make a pizza again without using this unless I absolutely have to. So, uh, while we give the five minutes, we are going to measure out our ingredients. So as I didn't say it earlier, you will need additional bowls. So we're gonna do, let's see, three and a half to three and three fourths all-purpose flour. 120 grams per cup. Say that aside. It does say three and a half to three and one fourths all purpose flour. You can add some as you need um, when you're making this, you will need to, so that's not a problem at all. And done with the measurements for now. We go with one whole tablespoon of salt. A lot of salt. Salt is key. You've seen all my bread videos, salt is. Always used, if you miss salt, your bread will be ruined. And it doesn't just have to do with flavor, it has to do with how everything mixes with the dough and how it rises, etc. etc. One tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar. Side. This side. Got about a minute change left. The yeast is starting to dissolve. And I will measure out the olive oil since we got some time. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Put that aside as well as we are now done with that. Checking on yeast here. Grab another fork. Check out those clumps, see if we can get them out or how they're looking. If they, yeah, they pop away. There we go. Definitely a little dissolved. Nice little brownish, milky liquid now. Grab our handy dandy mixing. Spoon. Uh, we'll start with this wooden spoon as always as I've mentioned in other videos always go wood uh, try to avoid anything metal as much as possible and then we are going to after mix it flour up the surface just a tad I will be using uh, I guess we'll just use a little bit of uh, this flour on the surface I don't waste it too much and then we'll also add as much as needed and then we'll start the kneading process so 
I'd like to do a little bit of time, so I'm going to add in about half of the flour, give or take. The sugar and salt. The olive oil. <clears throat> Start to mix that up a bit. thing is when I get my KitchenAid back we'll be dumping all this into a uh, KitchenAid and that will uh, with the Dell hook do all the work for us a little more flour uh, I have a feeling my videos can get a, a lot louder measured this I went to three cups instead of three and a half I just wanted to start slowly because like I said it's about three and a half to three fourths give or take um, it's not specific this is one of the things with the joy of cooking kind of gives you a range you're gonna have to feel it out so that's why I'm gonna start slow so we're gonna add in another cup here for another half a cup of 60 grams See now that I've added an additional flour, it is starting to pull from the sides a little more, starting to form an actual dough ball, which is what you want. If it's soupy, if it's sticking a whole lot, then you want to add a little more flour to it until you get that right consistency. flour here. Get it all incorporated. Now they're up to the maximum amount they mentioned during your cooking. You do want to give it enough time with the stirring to let it actually get incorporated so that that dough bowl can form and then we're going to start kneading it scrape down the sides This is my uh, second time doing the all purpose, oh, sorry, the, uh, the, the fine flour there, the uh, Tipo Double Zero. The other recipe I used, since I uh, didn't go enjoy cooking, I had to make the pizza quick that one night I was talking about. I used that instant rice yeast. I actually found some of that at um, Giant. So it's a little bit different. This one's definitely turned out a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna have to add some more flour here. It's just not where I want it. 
So this will be it. After I add this additional 60, then I'm gonna do my best to just start kneading it on the counter. a bit but now we finally got a dough ball that even after stirring isn't going right back to a big mess. Let's level up flour up the surface a bit. I'll cover up our hands a bit as well. Get a nice coating going. Plop that bad boy right in there. Any the excess can go on top. Scrape a little bit of the sides off. Don't have to go crazy with it. <coughs> Scrape my spoon down. Don't have to go crazy with it. Take all these little chunks, fold it in itself, and then we're going to start kneading it. Eventually, it'll get to be a nice elastic ball. Um, and I'll come up. You don't need it to be on the floured surface too much after that. I only just start it off that way. It just makes it easier to form it. So once it starts kind of working with me like it is, I'll scrape off some of the excess flour on the surface. And then we're just gonna start the kneading process officially. So if you do need to add some more, that's fine. But the more you need it, the more elastic it'll become. And eventually you know it's right when you're not sticking to it and it's not pulling off chunks on the counter. Grab a little more of that flour. It's not there yet. And if you're doing this by hand, you're going to want to do this for 10 minutes. So we're going to pause this and we'll be back with you in 10 minutes. Okay, hasn't been 10 minutes yet, but we're close enough where I am putting the video back on. As you can see, it's nice and smooth and elastic -y. We are almost there. I haven't been adding any extra flour to work with it. We finally got to the point where once it was kneaded enough and it's just a tad bit more flour on the surface and everything, we can finally get to the point where it's sticking a bit, but not bad. Totally acceptable. It's not pulling off and leaving chunks on the counter. So we're almost there. I also prepped and I took a quick break for myself for a quick second, uh, a lately oiled bowl. bowl. So take a bowl, put just a dash of olive oil in it, and then take a paper cloth and just kind of rub it around the edges. Nothing too much, doesn't have to be saturated. And you know, put that off the side. About two minutes remaining. Just waiting to get to that water. Once you get to the mark, it's been 10 minutes. The nice thing about having a kitchen is not only you don't have to do all this work, which is, you know, I actually really enjoy this. The kitchen aid breaking has uh, allowed me or forced me to work with a lot of doughs by hand than I would normally. It's been a lot of fun. You get to feel it, you know, versus just see it, you get to feel it out, you get to understand how it's going to feel. But, uh, the nice thing about having the kitchen is uh, you can use the time while it's kneading. You gotta watch it, of course. You can't just completely walk away from it, but you can use that time to start cleaning up the kitchen and prepping other things. It makes things a lot easier. All right. Bad baby, bad baby. Ten minutes later, we have a nice, elastic smooth ball of dough. 
see how it like kind of sticks but doesn't really leave residue on the hand oh, a little bit there i'm being cocky with it so i'm going to take it we're going to form a nice ball bowl ball boo and we're going to put it in the bowl and we're going to turn it just give it a nice once over coating with the oil we're going to cover it and we're going to leave it out room temperature somewhere room temperature warm for an hour, an hour and a half, let that double up in size. Um, the next steps after that would be to punch it down, pretty much roll it out, ingredients, blah, 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 pizza in the oven. Um, after the first rise, that is the ideal time if you're going to put it in the fridge or save it for anyone. So after the first rise, I'll be punching it down, putting it in a bag, popping the fridge, and then hand it over to the Baileys uh, later today. Uh, so that's it. It's uh, no part two, nothing like that. Just a very quick and easy pizza dough. Like I said, I'll follow up with additional recipes, and eventually uh, we will be making uh, a couple versions of pizza. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Hope you like the video. Have a wonderful day.